Understanding Assumed Name, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a fascinating aspect of the English language, the concept of an assumed name. This phrase might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your conversations. An assumed name is a name that a person chooses to use instead of their real or legal name. This is not the name given at birth or found on legal documents, but rather a name someone selects for a specific purpose. It's like a nickname, but often used in more formal or public situations. People might use an assumed name for various reasons. Sometimes, it's for privacy, like authors who write under a pen name. In other cases, it could be for branding, like celebrities who adopt a stage name that is catchier or easier to remember than their real name. Understanding these contexts helps in grasping the concept better. Let's look at some examples. An author, like Mark Twain, whose real name was Samuel Clemens, used an assumed name for his writing. A celebrity like Lady Gaga, whose real name is Stefani Joanne Angelina Germanata, uses a stage name for her performances. These examples show how assumed names can vary in purpose and context. In a legal context, an assumed name can also be known as a doing business as DBA name. Businesses might operate under a different name than their registered legal name for marketing or branding purposes. It's important to understand that while using an assumed name as legal, it must be properly registered if used for business. So, there you have it. A detailed look at the term, assumed name. Whether it's for privacy, branding, or legal purposes, this concept is widely used in various contexts. I hope this video has helped clarify what an assumed name is and how it's used. Thanks for watching, and keep learning!